All right, guys, welcome to Practical Christian. Today, I want to talk about Brett Cooper being a man. This is Brett Cooper, the so-called woman that you see here. Why do I want to talk about this? Because it has to be said that so-called Christians in the West have really lost all reason. So it seems. Clearly, if you lost absolute reason completely, you were never saved to begin with. But ultimately, there are too many people who fall for this fake conservative right-wing rhetoric, and uh, Christians do so as well, and then they end up supporting people like Brett White and Daily Wire. Daily Wire is hosted by, obviously, Ben Shapiro, who hates the Lord Jesus, we know that, uh, hosted by other Catholic people like Matt Walsh and Michael Knowles. And Matt, uh, Michael Knowles is best friends with the transgender community, so I don't know what conservative values he's holding or subscribing to. But anyway, this is about Brett Cooper. Brett Cooper is a guy, right? And Brett Cooper just hit 2 million, 2 million subscribers, and he is celebrating in this video that, yes, they've hit 2 million subscribers. Um, and in this video, he's going to talk about the infamous trans teacher exposed. Now, it has to be said that, honestly, in this world, we know Satan runs the world, right? You have to bow before him if you want anything. We saw the example of that with Jesus in the desert, right? When he went into the wilderness and the devil tempted him that, hey, look, bow before me and I'll give you all the kingdoms of uh, the earth, right? Meaning... All popularity is owned by the devil, honestly. And YouTube being a liberal, left-wing, propagandering piece of garbage that it is, right? Without a doubt, it's owned by the devil. And the devil gives power to those who are his children. Now, Brett Cooper here, you guys have to look closely. You have to be able to examine closely. Is this a, a woman for reals? Well, I tell you the truth, it's not a woman. But if you have been brainwashed because you've been watching a lot of transgender porn, well, of course, you'll be jacked in the head. And another thing, a lot of Hollywood stars, Hollywood women in the movies we used to watch, a lot of them were men. One example is Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock, for some reason, I never actually liked her. I never had a crush on her growing up. There was just something off. And why? It's because she's a man. And I could tell she was a man by the strong jawline and the legs looked like burnt beef jerky. It just didn't look like a female's legs, right? Now, let's go to some pictures of Brett Cooper here. You type in Brett Cooper on Google uh, Images, and I found this little article here. This is Brett Cooper when he was 10 years old or 13, right? It says here, accomplished young actress, no, actor, offers inner city youth alternative to gangs. Now, let's be honest now. Does this really look like a little girl to you? A 13-year-old girl? Now, the article here says she had a sudden growth spurt. Really? A sudden growth spurt? I do not see then any um, chest happening here, female chest happening. Instead, I see wide shoulders and extremely narrow hips, right? Look at the pelvis. It's like totally the pelvis of an a a athletic guy, right? Look at the size of his neck. Look at the Adam's apple over there. Do you guys really think that this dude is a female? Now, with all the sorcery, and all the pharmacia and all the magic that is uh, developed in the labs, it is possible to accomplish a resemblance of a female today. But look at this picture. This is from her Instagram. That's a guy, guys, right? You need to ask yourself, have you been brainwashed? Do you have Hollywood crushes that are secretly men, right? Because you shouldn't have a Hollywood crush at all. Now I get it, you're a guy, if a girl's pretty, a girl's pretty. I get it, right? But you shouldn't be hounding and having 400 pictures of that person on your phone, right? But ultimately, this is sorcery. This is absolute sorcery. Look closely over here. 
this is a dude, right? So if we quickly, I mean, look at the guy's legs even here, man. Like, check how long his limbs are. Look how big his hands are. Just look at that. These are the legs of a guy who is probably a sprinter, right? It says here, most preteens long for the growth spurt. That will make them look as grown up as they're starting to feel. Brett Cooper wishes hers had stopped a little sooner. Uh-uh. I've seen females who have growth spurts, right? In fact, since the food is po poisoned, a lot of black females here in Africa, when they hit a growth spurt, you can immediately see it. You see the widening of the hips. Uh, 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 the breasts are increased. Some of them even get granny arms, right? Of course, they get a bit taller. But ultimately, you know what a female growth spurt is. This is not a female growth spurt. This is not. Now, people who, who honestly believe that this is a guy and you're going to hold steadfast that this is indeed a, a female, you're not going to let it go. Brett Cooper is a female and you like her. Um, I'm sorry, but you've been brainwashed and uh, you've been judged. Now, if we were to go to Romans here, Romans 1, 26, we would read, Starting at 25, they exchanged the truth of God for a lie and worshipped and served the creature rather than the creator, who is forever worthy of praise. Amen. A lot of Western media has preached a lot of the worship of creation, such as what? The worship of super superheroes, right? The worship of people's hands. Okay. Uh, verse 26, for this reason, God gave them over to dishonorable passions, even their women exchanged natural relations for unnatural ones. Vice versa for the men as well. If we check 1 Thessalonians 4, 5, not in lustful passions like the Gentiles who do not know God. You who believe and hold strong that this is a woman and you claim to be a Christian, you do not know God because you are led away by your lustful passions. OK, now, despite Brett Cooper disguising himself as a female, right, um, and talking about, you know, conservative talking points, that that doesn't make her a good person. That makes her a deceiver. And many of you in the West are so quick to say, oh, he, she or he is still a good person. No, 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 no. It's a deceiver. Right. It's a deceiver. And. That's all there is to it. You're not a female. And above all else, how is it that this person can get so many subscribers in such a, a little amount of time? It's because they are of their father, the devil. Right? Like, look at all these comments. Nobody is going to mention that, hey, Brett, you a guy too. What are you talking about? If we go to newest comments, this guy says, as I have said for years, you give rights. Not helpful. Um, yeah, nothing here is helpful. Just goes to show. Just unsubscribed. Oh, I guess this was a pro-trans uh, person. But that's the thing. Notice that no one can tell. Nobody can see that this is a man. If you, if you like Brett Cooper, you're a guy, you have a crush on this thing, you are gay, bro. You're gay. This is who you like. This is who you like. You want to propose to Brett Cooper? You, you want to marry a dude? Sometimes he can't hide all of his uh, manly features. Right here, he has like expert makeup artists, the perfect lighting, all of that. Honestly, but look at a photo that she took by herself, maybe at a steakhouse. Look at that jawline over there. Look at that. All these other photos are taken after like hordes of professional makeup artists like patched her up, hid the Adam's apple. It is just unreal. Now you can say, okay, but let's examine the rest of her body. Like here, um, I see hips over there. I see breasts over there. It's like, guys, ever heard of that surgery, transitioning surgery? And you have to remember that a lot of Hollywood stars, like Dwayne Wade's um, son, um, I think 
they have not cut off his uh, his jewels, but a lot of uh, young men who were adopted. I'm not saying Dwayne Wade's son was adopted. Maybe he was, but I don't think so. But ultimately, these Hollywood stars who adopt children, they trans they transition those children and they cut off the young boys' jewels, right, and start pumping them with estrogen. By the time they grow up, they will have female features. And when they grow up, surprisingly, they'll be very popular. But ultimately, these are fake. Look at the size of his hands, right? But ultimately, he had some surgery. He had some injections. We have Blair White here. This is high-level sorcery. Blair White is a man, and he's a conservative. He doesn't hide that he is a man in a dress. He did not. He said he did not cut off his jewels, so he still has the full package down there, right? And he has a boyfriend. That's absolutely atrocious, right? But, of course, he has a team of makeup artists, a team of photographers in which there's enhancements on the feminine side of things. But if you look closely over here, man, that looks like a, a, another dude's leg. Guys, this is messed up. This is pure evil. This is of the devil. Twisting God's creation. Right? And if you're supporting these people because they're talking about a few things that you um, approve of, then unfortunately, you have been deceived. You don't know God either. Because you should be disgusted. You should be disgusted by these people. Right? Now, a practical Christian ought to be practicing practicality in his life, right? And because this generation, this dispensation is hard, right? We are in the last days and stuff, but now, pff, last of the last of the last of the days, because look how jacked up everything is, right? The practicality of the least that you can do is to call out these people, but all of you seem to be joining the, the hordes. So honestly, y'all, you need to wake up and stop with the support of this monstrosity. Brad Cooper is a man. There's nothing you can do to convince me otherwise. We see it right here. He's talking about a female growth spurt. It's like, bro, no, 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 no.